Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh, and today we are going to discussing about our next topic is hooks. Okay, how to use the hooks and how we can able to implement our hooks concept into our Cypress Cucumber. Okay, before the one going to that, what exactly our hooks means? This hooks concept I already explained into my previous videos in the UI place. Please go through that. You can able to understand the hooks types. And then you can come to here and also you can able to understand here also. Okay. Before, after, these are the four concepts we have on a Cypress. Before, after, before each, after each. What it will do, right? Before it will open in a single time in a class. After it will work only single time in a after execution of a classes. Okay. Before each mean each method execution time we are going to call for before. After means after execution of each method we are going to calling for after this example like <clears throat> this is my class class having tc1 tc2 and tc3 okay before it will call in the one time and before each calls for each test case time and after it will call for each test <clears throat> test case execution okay after it will execute for entire class time. This is a format for having, okay, hooks having the this format. <coughs> we can able to run and see whether we can able to do it or not. But only thing is when you are going to see in our future file, we are not mentioning those steps here, okay. That before and before and after, before each, after each, we are not mentioning here. <clears throat> then how we can able to call for our hooks means in the step definition we need to do for our step definition creation okay here we need to call it before calling we need to import our which hook we want to use it now i'm going to use in this uh, demo i'm going to show you before and after okay i'm just i'm going to do for before comma and again i can able to say after these are two methods. I'm just I'm going to do for one reloading a page. Okay. Reloading a page. Before execution and after execution completion. I'm just I'm going to do for refreshing a page. How we can able to refresh means just I'm going to do for before function and, and there inside the function creation. Okay. We are not going to uh, mention any title because this is like we are not calling from future file. We are calling directly in the step definition. There is no use of providing for title, right? <clears throat> there directly function we are going to create. Just I'm going to use for Cypress dot reload. Okay, Cypress dot reload concept. And again, on the last, I'm going to mention same whether I can able to use the top for this after also. Yes, you can able to create here and you can able to access this one into one time in a execution you can able to mention after means after all method execution it will click for your uh, reload again in the last it will calls okay now you need to check for this like npx cypress open Uh, I need to open this again. I need to open Chrome's and I'm going to run for my file. Once after execution started, you can see my function. What happened? Okay, after it is called before, that's why it is. No, oh, no. Naming convention. Naming conventions are not correct. That's why you can see reloaded is called here. Okay. After second method also we can able to see. You can see here before it is started and after last also you can able to see reload for each. After each you can able to sell reload. 
okay these are one another kind of for each okay even you can able to see each scenario like this scenario you can able to see one because each time it is open for new scenario type that's why you can able to see here you are not able to see reloading Here you can able to see the reload. Here also because it is treating as a, this scenario, entire scenario as a one test case. Okay, separate uh, file type. That's why we are uh, able to see for for each for before loading and after loading of the scenario execution, complete scenario execution. It is treat as a one class. That's why it is executed like this. If you use before each and after each here means it is like a clumsy and even you can't able to understand what exactly it is going. Okay. This is all about for hooks concept in Cypress and Cucumber. I hope you understand this one. Please like me, please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. Thank you.